Okay, today we're going to pack a centipede for shipping. So here we've got an adult male Scolopendra hardwicki, who's going to be sent to gents and will hopefully father many, many children with his unrelated females. Um, of course I'm going to have to get him out of this box into a smaller tub for shipping and the centipede's being a bit of a twat by having crawled right up into the corner which makes it a bit difficult to get out. Um, I'll still be able to show you the techniques, I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful opening it to start with. These ones have got very hot venom, you don't want to get bitten by them, but overall they're pretty calm. So, the gist of it is to pick up something which it is walking on. Once we've got that, we can dump it there. This probably explains why you're better working with wood, cork bark and light materials rather than stone. A stone could have easily fallen out of a forceps and with the centipede on it, it could have resulted in a bit of an accident, which is not what you want. I do have some stones in this enclosure, but they're right at the bottom uh, and serve to conduct heat upwards from the heat mat. Um, I think the rule is if you're going to have stones in the centipedes enclosure, make sure they're stones that are at the bottom and which never move, just for safety. Alright, this centipede's having a wee wonder, and like I said it is a male, it's quite active, this species is generally quite active, and this is all you need to do, get a bit of cork bark and get it to walk onto it. Now let's see if it cooperates and goes into my little tub. Pick him up on the cork bark. No, he seems to realise it's a tub that he's going to go into and doesn't want to get in there. That's quite common actually. Sometimes you just got to push them down a little bit. Make them want to dig. I mean, actually, the centipede is being really calm. Um, a lot of them freak out quite a bit when you grab them with tongs. This is the point where you've got to be quite careful. Nope. You don't want to squash them inside the edge of the container. And you don't want it to rear over and bite you. Uh, like I said, these ones have got pretty hot venom and being bitten is allegedly quite an unpleasant experience. Definitely not one to handle, although as you can see it's not overly aggressive. Right, get your legs in. I just want to be careful not to squeeze the antenna in the edges. Okay, now, there we go. The reason we pack them with moss is so that when the package gets shaken around by professional mail delivery and courier drivers, um, they don't get rattled against the enclosure and they don't bang themselves on the edges as much. Um, so something like moss has got loads of grip on it um, and it's usually better to pack them quite tightly. I don't think this is very tightly packed at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to dig a little bit and when it's done that I'm going to pack a bit more moss on top of it. But at least I've got it in there and I can actually work with this. That's the hard part over. Uh, what I'm going to do after I've added a bit of moss is I'm going to seal it shut with sellotape. There are lots of breathing holes. The moss is not particularly wet, I mean it's a, it's a tad damp. Uh, and I'm going to be packing them inside a large styrofoam container with one of these heat packs because it's getting quite cold. And I'm going to be putting the heat pack on top of them 
on top of the cages, on top of the tubs like that, so that they can maybe escape to the heat at the bottom to begin with. And by the time they arrive where they're going, the centipedes will probably be pushed right up against the top to get the last little remaining bit of heat from these heat packs. This is a 60 hour heat mat, heat pad. I believe that when I see it. And that's it. And that is how you get a centipede out of a tub like this into a tub like this via a box like that.